So after I successfully dragged my friends to my house, it's time for a video. Hey there, my futuristic crew, Silver the Hedgehog here. Oh, uh, what's up? It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, Amy Rose here. Uh, Silver, what's going on? And why are we here? Well, I just thought of a really good video idea, and it involves you two. It's, um, I found, I found a Sonic Amy fanfic. Come what? On. No. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Oh, come on, come on, guys. It's going to be fine. You guys are going to have a great time. So this this fanfic is called What a Day, What a Night. Um, what a night. Maybe oh, a good day, uh... maybe a good day and a good night. Uh, I'll be, I am Silver the Hedgehog and I will be your narrator. And then uh, Sonic and Amy will, uh, will read their lines. So let's make it a good one, everyone. Let's get started. Yay. Yay. Sonic tugged at his quills, frustration building the more he stood there. He just wanted to see if she wanted to hang out. No big deal, right? Except it kind of was, since today was Valentine's Day and all. Ooh, Valentine's Day. What a great day to have. Valentine's day. It has to be a Valentine's Day thing. Uh, he sighed. <sighs> Ever since he had spoken to Amy about how her attempts to date him were too much for him to handle at the time, she had oh, calmed down on, significantly. Amy. Oh, do you miss it, Sonic? No, I don't miss it. She still flirted every once in a while, but she wasn't demanding for Sonic to go out with him anymore. And that was good. He really hadn't been sure how to approach the topic at first, but as usual, his feet and emotions took off to her before his brain could catch up. Yeah, Sonic, that kind of sounds like you. You really think with your feet before your head. I have to yeah, agree with that. What? I like to go where the wind takes me. True. Whatever. Sonic, it's time for you to read, and you too, Amy. Have fun. <laughs> Do I have to read this? Yes. <laughs> pl uh, pl please? <sighs> okay. Hey, uh, Amy? Oh, hey, Sonic. What's up? Can we talk? The pink hedgehog turned from her flower garden she was tending to, standing up and brushing the dirt from her legs. Of course, what do you need? Well, uh, it's kinda... The blue blur sighed, fidgeting with his rings on his wrists. Uh, look, Amy, this isn't easy for me to talk about... But the girl turned to face him fully, a bit of a worried expression appearing on her face. What is it? Is there something going on? No, look. Sonic held his breath for a moment. Okay, so, you know how you're always, um, always trying to get me to go out with you? The girl's eyes lit up, and she jumped from her place on the ground. Oh, are you finally asking me on a date? Yes, I- Definitely not. No, Amy, listen. The boy sighed. Listen, I just... Okay, you've made it obvious how you felt. You've been doing that for years. Yeah? And... And I just... Please don't tell me you don't feel the same. Silver, why are we doing this? Because it's good content. I mean... It's not good content. It's not. I mean... I, I, do this. I mean, the fans are gonna like it. There are... You, you know there are some people that still ship you guys. It's just like... Listen. <sighs> It's just gonna happen. Just embrace it. Please don't make us do this. Song's gaze snapped over to meet hers. Please, not after all these years. After all this time. Amy, that's... He sighed again. It's... It's hard for me, alright? I... I can't tell you what I feel. I just... I can't. I can't explain it, but... Sonic twisted one of his power rings, nerves starting to get worse. I just, I need you to give me time, okay? And I, I need you to stop coming on so strong. You've basically been trying to force me into something I'm not ready for. A stretch of silence passed, and the wind blew through both of their quills. Amy processed Sonic's words. So, I've been too much for you? Yeah. I mean, I guess that was already established a while ago. <laughs> <sighs> Silver. Uh... Sonic. Amy shook her head, stepping forward. Amy? Come here, dummy. She embraced him in a hug. Um... You should have just told me from the start. I didn't realize it was all too much for you. I guess that's why you always run away, huh? He nodded wordlessly. Alright, Sonic. I'll tone it down for you. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. I'm glad you listened. He chuckled a bit, 
finally returning the hug. You know, Sonic, you're a bit, uh, stuttery in this fanfic. Someone, I, I guess- I why I'm stuttering so much. I guess the user imagined you stuttering. I'm not stuttering at all. They must not know me very well. I mean, how are you when it comes to confessing your feelings or talking about your feelings? That's true, uh, because Sonic doesn't really uh, do that. I mean, doesn't Amy have, like, a class on how you, you should, you know, talk about your feelings? Hey! I never go to that class. You know what? Let's let's continue. But, you know... Huh? She leaned in, whispering in his ear. Come on, oh, Silver. Boy, I don't... Oh, hey, listen, I haven't even read this fanfic myself, so I don't even know what's going on. Uh, <sighs> Alright. This doesn't mean that I'll completely stop going after you. I'm still gonna let you know how I feel, alright? And apparently Sonic blushed. That's interesting. What? That? I never blush. Ugh, come on. Uh, yeah. I figured as much. Sonic remembered Amy laughing after that, and giving him a kiss on the cheek. Of course, that only made him uh. more embarrassed. Wow, okay. Uh. Escalating there. He shook his head. Why'd he let himself fall into a flashback? Did you doze off, Sonic? I don't know. I didn't write this fanfic. I guess you dozed off because you got kissed on a cheek. In any case, he was here to simply hang out. Despite today's date, despite all the romantic crap... Oh, wow, even the fanfic reader is uh, kind of acknowledging the Valentine's crap, yeah. quote-unquote. <sighs> Despite all the romantic crap stoon, I, I've never heard that word before, about the town. Despite the fact that he was holding a freaking rose. Wait, Sonic, you're holding a rose? I guess so. And you're giving it to why. Amy Rose. And <sighs> then it says, okay, so he was lying to himself. Sonic, uh, Sonic heaved out a sigh. He didn't think he could do this. With that, he turned and he was just about to run off when the door behind him opened. Well, frick. Sonic? He swirled around to see the pink girl standing before him. Oh, uh, hey, Amy. What's up? Nothing much. Was just going for a walk. You need something? Oh, well... <laughs> the blue blur coughed into his hand, smoothing back his quills a bit. His other hand clenched the rose behind his back, and he winced, kind of forgot the thing it had thorns. Uh, I just, uh, wanted to know if... if you were, um, uh, <clears throat> busy. Not really. Oh, great. So you're going to Amy's house. She's not busy and you have a rose. So, Sonic, you were lying to yourself in this fic, apparently. Uh, well, good. Uh, good, cuz, uh... He gulped, starting to sweat. Why was this so difficult for him? As Sonic screamed at himself internally, Amy began to smirk. Oh, I'm what? screaming internally. Uh, uh, what's that behind your back, Sonic? Huh? huh? Uh, nothing? I... Let me see! She lunged forward, grabbing behind Sonic. He moved away effortlessly. Uh, Amy, it's, it's nothing, really. The young man dodged away from the lady's attempts at snatching the hidden flower from him. Come on! <laughs> Amy successfully picked the object from Sonic's grasp, gasping when she saw what it was. Oh, a rose! I assume this is for me? Uh, well, yeah. Aw, how cute, Sonic. You gave Amy a rose. You stay quiet. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Hmm, did you get me this for any suspicion or however reason <laughs> to have <laughs> can, you not say, can you not say that word? Really? No! Come on. You can't... Sonic! <laughs> See, now you guys are laughing. Okay, but I guess let's continue because I know you guys want to get this over with. So, next, <laughs> next part, Amy. Perhaps due to a certain holiday. Amy twisted the rose in her fingers, teasingly. Um, Sonic uh, groaned. Again, I'm kind of just as blind about this that. fanfic as well. Oh, what do you think? She giggled. Thank you, Sonic. I, uh, yeah. The pink hedgehog leaned up, planting a kiss on his nose. He squeaked at that. Sonic, okay, I will admit, will not squeak. I don't think you can make him I squeak. I would never squeak. <laughs> okay, that that much I will say. Like, it's a fanfic, so you know, if the fanfic writer wants to make Sonic squeak, then cool. But I don't think he would ever squeak. Amy! You're so sweet. You know that? Mm -hmm. I, I could tell that that was a genuine uh, reaction to the fanfic, huh, Sonic? It's a reaction to me being here right now. 
Amy laughed again at Sonic's facial expression. So did you have anything in mind? Eh? For today, you asked if I was busy? Oh, I didn't really plan anything. I just... I figured if we hung out today, we could do whatever. I'm fine with that. Amy smiled sweetly. Let me just get ready real quick. Wanna come in for a bit? Sure. Soon, Sonic was sat at Amy's couch. He looked around the living room. He'd been over Amy's place before, but it seemed she had done some slight redecorating recently. A moment later, Amy returned, wearing some light winter gear. Hey, I'm ready! Sonic nodded, standing up. You changed things up a bit in here. Yeah? Looks nice. Thanks. Figured I could do with a different look. The two left the house, Amy turning to the man next to her. So, where to? Jump on up and you'll see. Oh, carrying me in your arms, are you? Romantic. Oh, that seems pretty... Yeah, I guess that's, uh... Okay, here's the thing. Sonic, are you going to run with Amy everywhere? Okay, let me just say this. I don't know if Amy can handle your speed as much as you can. Well, he did have to carry me when he had to rescue me. So, kind of used to it. I don't know. Even I feel like if you have to run as fast as Sonic, that would be a headache. Anyways, uh, go ahead, Sonic. Your, your, your turn. I, I do that all the time. I know, I know. Amy giggled. Just teasing you. Sonic sighed, shaking his head. Well, come on. We can't just stand here. And so they were off. Amy resting her head on Sonic's shoulders as he ran. After a bit of running, they found themselves at a park. Sonic sat the girl down on the bench. Anything you want to do? Why don't we just walk around a bit? Amy stood, linking an arm through Sonic's. We could talk about whatever. Sounds good. The blue hedgehog gulped down his nervousness and then began their stroll. The two talked about random things, from how peaceful things have been lately to what their other friends were up to. I mean, currently, their other friends are up to torturing them, apparently. I.E. me. Sonic tilted his head, a thought coming up. Tails is almost always in that lab of his. I'm starting to think he's becoming a workaholic. Gosh, he really dedicates himself to his craft, huh? Though, I'm sure you could get him away from work every once in a while. Well, I can, but he usually doesn't want to be interrupted. They continued on. Changing topics after a while. Have you seen Knuckles at all lately? I've never seen him anymore. I haven't, though I did see Rouge the other day. It's like he disappeared off the face of the earth. The blue blur frowned. I'm kind of starting to worry. I asked Rouge how he was doing. She says he's fine, just busy. Busy with what? She wouldn't say. Well, uh... that's weird. Um, okay. She's probably trying to steal the Master Emerald again, isn't she? Probably. Maybe. Or she stole it and Knuckles is busy trying to get it back. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. The two stopped in front of a pond. A few squirrels walked around, chittering at each other. The hedgehog sat a little ways from the water. This park is so pretty. Yeah, I agree. The thought, but not as pretty as you, popped in the socks. Oh gosh. <laughs> what? Well, it popped in the Sonic's head and he looked away. He definitely couldn't say that out loud. Missed opportunity, Sonic. I would never say that out loud. Not even in my head. Well, apparently, according to the fanfic, he kind of wished he could. He sighed, and Amy turned to him. Hey, what is it? Nothing. Come on, Sonic. R really? It's nothing. Amy gave the other a look, and he sighed. It's just... just... Ugh. I don't get why I'm so nervous around you. I'm always embarrassed when it comes to... Y you know... Romance? Sonic nodded, blush creeping onto his cheeks. Sonic's really embarrassed about, uh, about talking about his feelings, huh? Mm. I don't like this. Hey, you don't have to be so frustrated by it. That's just how you are. But it's annoying. And I just... Jeez. Amy, I just want to tell you already. I want to actually admit how I... Sonic froze when he realized the words coming from his mouth. How I... 
feel? Sonic really does not want to talk about how he feels right now about this fanfic. <laughs> but now his face was red, and Amy sighed, setting a hand on his shoulder. It's okay, Sonic. You don't have to say it. Not in words. I know how you feel already. Your actions have said enough. I... I guess, but... His ears dropped. I... I want to actually say it. Well, maybe you need more time to be able to do that. She rested her head on his shoulder, setting her hand next to him. And that's okay. I'm willing to wait. He continued to blush, leaning his head on hers. The... Thank you. Of course, love. Why Silver? Sonic flinched at that, face becoming even hotter. Oh, I'm sorry. That just slipped out. N no, no. It's okay. He glanced away smiling. She smiled back as he once again put his head on hers. They cuddled closely, watching the stars appear. The end. Oh, how how adorable. They, they you guys were cuddling and uh, on Valentine's Day, and it was so cute. I don't think they're exactly happy with me, everyone. Uh, how do Why you guys did feel? You make us do this, Silver. Why, Silver? Um, it's because this is what the viewers wanted. Because you know. That's what they subscribe for. They subscribe for content. And don't worry, I've been tortured on my own YouTube channel as well for my fans suggesting me to play certain games. So this is nothing. Listen, don't make us do this again. Please don't. So guys, I don't think they're happy uh, with me. So uh, I, I, you guys can see yourselves out now if you want. Th thanks, thanks for uh, suffering for me. We're going to talk about that payment later. Uh, Luckily, you don't get my get hit by my pico pico hand. No, 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 no! I don't need it. Listen, listen. If you have to blame anyone, blame Sally. She found the specific fanfic. I'll talk to Sally too. <sighs> Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and tune in next time where I make Sonic read another fanfic. Huh? <laughs> Good luck, Sonic. See you later, my futuristic crew. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.